Hello, this is EchoBlossom123 here, and this is going to be basically a walkthrough of how I make my my USTs. Um, I'm not the most experienced person around, but I do know how to make USTs on time and everything, and considering the lack of tutorials out there, I thought it would be a good idea for me to you know try and explain how I make them so more people can, which would be really awesome, I think. Um, so yeah, basically I'm just going to go through how I do my USTs and hopefully you'll pick up some information on yeah how to make your own. If not, then I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so first of all, you of course need to pick a song that you want to make a UST out of. Um, you can choose one that there is a UST for already, I don't recommend it because I don't really see the point. Um, that and there are a lot of songs out there that need USTs. I think. <laughs> um, so first of all what you do is you of course find your song um, and you need three things to make a UST. Two if you're pretty darn good at reading Japanese. Um, which is first of all you need the actual mp3 of the song which I've downloaded here for this song. I'm going to be making a UST out of ball jointed dolls for this tutorial because it's quite a simple song and I won't look like an idiot <laughs> trying to make one. Um, so yeah, the, you need the MP3, you need the Romaji lyrics of the song, um, which come in really handy when actually inserting the lyrics into the MIDI, and you need the off vocal for when you're actually mixing the song. And uh, yeah. So what you do is, of course, get those three things. Um, you don't need to get them until later, you just need to make sure that they are actually available. And yeah, once you've done that, you can pretty much close out of this, sort of, this stuff. Um, program-wise, you need Utao and a MIDI making program. I'd highly, highly recommend FL Studio. Um, or at least, you know, I use the demo version. You can get the full version. I don't know. Yeah, it costs a lot of money, so just, yeah, the demo version has everything you need. Um, so yeah, open it up, and you need to load, of course, load the song that you're going to be making a MIDI of because you're going to be making the MIDI alongside the song. So it saves a lot of, I've got no idea how long this note is supposed to be. <laughs> you can just listen. So first of all you need to go to um, this button here. This is going to be a really informal tutorial. I have no idea what half these buttons are called. So there's going to be this button here, that button here. And you guys are just going to have to look and yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, open this up and then go to this one here, the first button, and click load sample. Um, MP3, WAVs, they're all perfectly fine. And then load the song. And once it appears here, just click this button here and it will appear on your playlist. If the playlist or this thing it <laughs> doesn't show up, you just go to view and then yeah, select these two. Or you can press, oh, apparently you can press, yeah, F5 or F6 and they'll show up. Let me try that. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, you then need to, yeah, delete these off. You, and then, yeah, but keep one of them. If you, if you accidentally did them all off, you can always go to insert. But, um, just go to replace, and this first one, 3XOSC. That's what I, how I like my MIDI to sound. I'm not sure if you can hear it properly, but um, yeah, that's how the mini's going to sound, or at least in this program, anyway. Right, and then you go to, then you right-click the top of the playlist and click New Pattern, and you just put one and drag it across the length of the song. Oops. If you don't drag it across the length of the song, as you're making, okay, the MIDI is going to be going here. Okay, so as you can see, it's going to be playing alongside the song. Much easier to tell if it's right or wrong or not. Um, if you only drag it, let's say, about halfway, um, and you continue the MIDI making along, you won't be able to hear this part. So you really need to yeah, make sure it's covering the whole length of the song, or at least the whole length of the spe of the singer's parts in the song. Okay, so once you've done that, you need to figure out the tempo of the song. Okay, this is very important because if you don't have the correct tempo, it can sound blah, <laughs> and the the MIDI will be off tune and everything. Okay, so you just make sure this button here is clicked. This is the met 
this is the metronome, so you can actually hear the tick 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 of yeah, the beat. And then you um right click oh whoops. Yeah, yeah, right click and go to tap. You need to actually have the song playing because you can't select anything as you're tapping out the beat. So click it. Oh. Make sure you have the little arrow thingy on the on here because otherwise you won't get it to play. Click play. The song will start playing and you just tap out the beat. Okay, after listening it for a while, I'm pretty sure the tempo is around, yeah, is 140. Um, there's no real way to check if it's wrong or right that I know of properly. Um, I believe there is a method actually in FL Studio, and I'll maybe post a link to, to um, if I figure out how. But um, really, uh, yeah, I just always work out the tempo by ear, and you can semi, ch you can sort of check by looking at the um, the shape of the notes, a uh, shape of the the song itself and you can see it's sort of in sections and it does seem yeah to be with yeah on the bars and that's that's usually a good sign that it's actually on tempo which yeah oh whoop. <laughs> whoops yeah okay so once you've got the tempo worked out you just go back to here the uh, 3x sc and click on piano roll and this will pop up the yeah, other um and this is going to be where the MIDI is made, okay? As the notes are placed, you can of course hear them and you'll be able to play alongside the song. So you just start wherever the singers. Oh yes, there is one more thing. Um, sometimes to actually be able to start at a certain point, like click and start at a certain point, you'll have to actually place a note I'm not sure, fully sure, yeah, I'm not 100% sure why this is, but yeah. Mm. 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 Yep, G. <laughs> you will be, chances are you will be humming and mm -hmm quite a lot, <laughs> just to figure out the, what the notes are. So Miku, this yeah, the song is sung but with Miku and Meiko. At the minute she's singing, mm, du, twa. so yeah, we need to work that out. What I like to do is do a raw MIDI and then do, then go through and double check the lyrics. So I'm not going to worry too much. Although I do know that this is a un, so we'll have to yeah tweak that. Make this shorter. Um, do, do.
But yeah, you, yeah, that's really all it is to it, the MIDI making part anyway. Just go through and, and listen to it really carefully and make sure, you know, make sure all the notes sound, you know, match what's being played in the song. Um, once you go through and, well, what I like to do is I like to go through, make the rough MIDI, which is where I don't worry about the individual lyrics, yeah, as I said before, and just make sure the notes are all the correct length. Um, usually songs don't use heaps and heaps of different notes, so if you're stuck for the so um, stuck for a note, just listen carefully and it could very well be one that you've already placed. Like if you look here, um, it just goes da, da, you know, G5, G sharp, G5 sharp, <laughs> G, and then it starts off at another G, so you know, there's patterns like this throughout pretty much all songs, and there'll be entire areas that repeat too, which you know, makes things a lot easier um, when it comes to actually making the MIDI. So you just select, if you want to copy and paste an area, it's just, you go to this button here, the select I'm guessing, <laughs> select it, go control C, and then control V, and it'll paste probably somewhere not in the right place. And then you just use the pencil tool and drag it to wherever it is. And as you can see, the MIDI that you're making is actually being, you know, recorded here, I guess. Yeah, recorded. Put here, and once you continue the entire way, you know, across the song, it, oops, it does look like a very long way, but it goes pretty darn quickly. I can normally, you know, put midis out in about a day. F yeah, finish midis in a day. Um, just continue the entire way and yeah the, the, once your MIDI's finished you just go to tools macros prepare for MIDI export click OK and then go to export MIDI file and just name it something like well for this song dolls would be a decent name click start and yep that's pretty much it for the FL Studio part Having the Romaji lyrics on a notepad at this point is pretty useful. Um, it's really good if you go through and just double check you've got the notes in the right length, um, you know, to match the words. Then you just open up Utal. Okay, I'm going to use a different song as an example since I haven't finished the Dolls MIDI. And I'll use, yeah, the song Grey. I don't know if any, any of you have heard it. It's originally a Len song, one of my absolute favorites. Hadn't re I thought there was already a USC for it, and there wasn't apparently. Um, so you just go to import because you can't just open a MIDI and expect a yeah USC to pop up. Import, then you go to wherever you put it. Um, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Ignore the file name there. Um, I think it was grade two. And then oh yeah, it'll usually be the it'll usually be called three X O C. Yeah, whatever whatever thing you used in FL Studio. Um, so once you've opened it up, opened up the MIDI in Utal, there's a pretty good chance it's going to look something like this. It's you're not going to be able to play it. So like if you try and playing it, oh, if you try playing it, it's not going to play, and you'll get a message something like this: division by zero. And I, I actually laughed for quite a while. I'm like, well, when I yeah saw this message. So what you need to do is you need to type in the tempo for this for this song, not the other one, but this song. Um, the tempo is, I believe, 130. I don't suppose it matters too much if it's the correct tempo at the minute. And you know, you'll think well, that, that hasn't made a difference, but it actually has. You just need to scroll back to the beginning, make sure it's at the beginning of the song, and go remove tempo marker, and it'll show 130 there. Sometimes it won't. It'll still say, still say 5,000 here. Just ignore that. So if you scroll along, it'll be, you know, nice and not horrible. <laughs> and yeah, um you just go in, find the lyrics. Here they are. See I've saved the lyrics onto a notepad here. You just go through and insert them. And there is a quicker way than just going through and writing each individual one, which is where you separate the song into the Japanese phonemes, 
hope I said that correctly. Select them. Go copy. Make sure there's no gap at the beginning of this, otherwise it won't show in the lyrics box. Play. Uh, sorry, not play. Insert. And then select an area. Click this button. Oh, whoops. Sorry, this is a VCV bank. This won't play. Oops. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just goes to mine. <laughs> yep, so that that's right, yeah. And it should yeah, sound nice. Um of course this isn't the finished UST. I'll open up another UST nope. Don't wanna save. Um um ah. Once you've inserted all the lyrics, um this is where the well what I think is one of the more funner parts. You just come in what you do is you select select everything. And this is basically makes it sound nice. You just select everything, go to region property oh not region property, sorry. Go to pitch, click this box so it yeah, shows like this. Click OK, and then all these red lines will show up. And this is how you make your UST sound finished and nice and smooth and yeah. And you just start messing around with these, okay? And trying. Yeah, if you look here, these two sounds will now. So okay, you won't be able to hear it, but these two sounds now are more blended and it'll be more of a sabi. Yeah, and it'll go up. Instead of sabi, she did. Um, you just go through and add in a whole bunch of pitch bends, making it sound nice. And sorry, this this is more of the creative parts of UST making. Some people prefer to listen really carefully to the UST and match the um the pitch bends, but I prefer more of yeah, just choosing and picking my own, just to make the UST a bit more unique. Um, of course I will put in the important pitch bends where they should be. And yeah, once you've gone through and added in a whole bunch of pitch bends, they will look... Nope. It'll look something like this. You know, it'll be high bits, bits along here. Oh, to add vibrato, you just go to... Most of the stuff you can add, yeah. Here, just click that and fiddle with this until this this makes it more oh, I'll show you see 200 the depth is how thick it is not how thick <laughs> up and down gosh I'm bad with wording um so I if you turn this up it's how like that is it is gonna be like that or like that but yeah, yeah, um, that's really all it is to it. It's just go make the MIDI and put it into tile lyrics and then pitch bends and then you're done. There is one technique for harmonies in USTs. It doesn't work with all songs and basically this is just my way of doing it if I can't... See, I can't make harmonies. I'm really bad at it. So a lot of my USTs don't, but if if you do, and the way that I do it is... So anyway, the way the technique of making my um, harmonies that match the original is you open up a song. Open up a song, God. You open up your um, yeah, the song that you've been working on. This is Grey again. Sorry, I'm switching between like three songs, but um, yeah, they're all at different stages at the minute, which is useful. You just go in. This only again. This only works for some songs. It's basically where you get rid of the main vocals by flipping half of a stereo track, and that sort of cancels it out. I'm not quite 100 percent sure how it does it, but yeah, it ju it just gets rid of the mains, and hopefully will leave the harmonies so we can listen to and make a UST from them, which is you know the same process. You just go to effect in Audacity. You go to effect, and then 
at the bottom there'll be vocal remover for center panned vocals. This doesn't work for all songs, and if it doesn't work for your song, I'm sorry. Um, hopefully, yeah. But usually the ones that are center panned do have backup vocals and stuff. So you click OK, and it'll change the look of the song, quite dramatically usually. And it'll sound a bit strange, but it will have... See, like, this This makes the vocal... I can hear the harmonies, but there's no vocal track in this section, so I know how to make... Yeah, I know how to basically just go through the same process. And that's really all there is to the UST, ma UST making. Your first UST will be the hardest UST you make. The Cruel Clocks UST was the first successful UST, though not including some fa really bad attempts that are somewhere hidden on my SoundCloud, I believe. Um, and the Cruel Clocks UST took, I think, about two months to make. And you're probably probably thinking, oh my god, I'm, there's no way I'm do you know going to be spending two months on a UST. That was only the only reason was because it decided to um, go off tempo, and I still sat through and fixed all of it manually, which took way too long. <laughs> really, especially considering there are a few fixes for that sort of thing. There are yeah, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with basically when you import the MIDI into Tile. It, it sometimes it's kind of buggy. There'll be times where it goes completely off time. Then you can either there's some fixes that you, where you can go to um, edit, quantize, and type in. Oh, sorry, I have to load a UST fig to show you. This UST isn't mine, nor is it off time, but quantize and type in 60 here and click OK. If that doesn't fix it, you just have to re-import the, um, the UST and it'll... It, the, the, re-import the MIDI and it should fix. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Any questions, feel free to, you know, talk to me. If you need another tutorial for something, ask me. And anything I didn't explain clear enough, I'll be happy to go over again with you. Um, yeah, so hope this helped. Thanks.